Right, once again for the second time, we are off into the uh, pub this morning to do a little bit of troubleshooting. Oh look, that's Dixon Windows. Uh, yeah, we had the glass washer tripping off last night, the electrics. That's so we thought. It turns out that it could be something else on the system. So we're going to have to figure it out, troubleshoot the whole lot and see if we can't get that back on because obviously we need we need a glass washer, we need chillers, we need AC units and at the minute something ain't quite right. So a bit of troubleshooting for the AM. We're in like sin. Seem to have a cooling problem on uh, FE2. He's not moved. These guys have controlled themselves quite well. It's down to 11.2 overnight from 20, 18 degrees. 11.7. So I wonder what the problem is. Maybe if I uh, turn these off and turn this off. Then it's got no choice but to shove it through this one. That should hopefully resolve the problem, but we'll come back and check that in 10 minutes after we've started the troubleshooting up top. That's all the flooring we pulled out last night. Oh, it smells way better in here. Way better. Right, I've come upstairs for no reason, because I'm a prat. I thought my screwdriver and multimeter were up here. No, they're downstairs. Let's go back down and get them. Don't know where screwdriver is. So we've got the uh, glass washer plug out. We figured out it was the glass washer that's tripping it after all. So we're going to have to find a way to A, empty the bugger, and then B, well, I think we're just going to replace it if I'm honest. It was a bit of a dodge when we picked it up, but it served us well. I think we paid less than £100 for it and we've got a year out of it, so as it paid for itself you'd argue it has, wouldn't you? Uh, so we're going to go and see if we can find one um, on the internet and fingers crossed we might be able to pick one up today if if we can find one for the right price and the right location we found it boys and girls we found it so we've had to bring the glass washer down to the bottom troubleshoot big time it's the heating element can you see just there there's a little scorchio, so that means water's found its way in. I thought it was a bit odd when I read the resistance and was upwards of 40 ohms. So uh, we managed to narrow it down. So a new one of these, if we can find out the watt rating on it, it's probably 1800 watts. And uh, we might have just run it with cold water for the time being, but that's better than nothing. There's a rating on it, look, if I can scrub that off I'll be able to see it. But yeah, anyway, Jeremy says we've got to go to Thorn. So we've got to go to Thorn. Right, we've arrived at Thorn Boat Services to see Matt and uh, some catering equipment. I'm guessing there's a big boat under there then. Yeah, we're gonna have to close that one. It's literally next door. You'd be surprised. Um, so yeah, we're gonna close that one and, and just move everything across. Same landlord? No, different landlord. It's a bigger place, much bigger place. He's close on there, isn't he? We might be able to manage it, that still. Can you get out? Yeah. Lovely. 
Yeah, so we'll just stay with Matt up at Thorn Bo at Thorn Boat Services, he's picking up a few uh, bits of catering equipment that he's kindly donated to the cause. He's got a fantastic uh, setup out here. 45 ton crane, digger, fork trucks, some lovely boats. Amazing. All surrounded by this beautiful canal setting. With a couple of ducks at the side. It's all right out here, isn't it? Bloody lovely. Look at that. Bloody lovely. It's simply lovely. I'll be seeing you. Right, let's have a look what we've got in here, bud. Right. So this is some of the bits and bobs that we're going to chuck on. This is amazing. I can't believe he's donating this. Cheers, Matt. Brilliant, mate. This is brilliant. Right, let's set the camera up and uh, get moving some bits. Unfortunately, I let myself drop so I didn't put any pressure on it. Well, we've pretty much cleared you out, buddy. Thanks for that. One more fridge and then, uh, then we're done. So I'm going to chuck the camera on the van and then uh, shake the man's hand. Much, much appreciated. Cheers, man. We're back in sunny Retford. We've got the goods unloaded. I'm just draining the fat out of the fryer at the moment. Still got fat in it. That's a slow job. But we are focusing on getting this glass washer up and running for Stuart. Uh, we're going to have to run it on cold water for a couple of three days until we can get a new element in there. I figured out what it was. I don't know where I've put the element now. I'll put it back in. <laughs> put it back in to block the holes up. So yeah, we had a crusty element and it's shorted out and obviously tripped everything so I've just disconnected the element put it back in just to uh, plug the hole so it doesn't leak and uh, these have come off so they were just spot welded on initially so all I'm going to do is just fire the welder up and we'll tack them on and then Stu can have it back again to wash glasses been a couple of weeks since we've done any welding on the channel so let's uh, hope I've not forgotten how to do it. We just have to tack this on, a couple of three corners should do the job. We've got to set at 40 amps. I'm hoping that's enough juice. I think it will be. So let's just get this set on. There we are. Aha! Uh -huh. No weld. It didn't bond. Let's have a look then. Maybe more amperage required. And the hat needs a freaking repair. It's non-stop, man. Right, we're going to try again. We've upped it to 55 amps. We'll have a go on this side this time because that one needs to cool down a bit now. Got him! Got him! Little bit of coking on the other side. 
not a problem really. Just like that. Just like that, he says. Just a little bit of reassembly now, and then back up to the pub for him. And uh, the next big job will be an element change for the goddamn thing. Yes, an element change. Giving myself a headache again today. Just put together a two and a half grand EWL order, and yeah, we have had a we have had a loan actually to pay for all of this new equipment for next door. In case you're wondering where all the funds are coming from, but uh, it's all proven to give me a headache, and I don't normally take uh, any tablets for anything like this. But uh, today, I'm making an exception. Did I show you that we've got the floor down? Put the kitchen lights on. Yeah, so we've got the floor back down. That shouldn't be a problem now. Fixed. Easy peasy. I still haven't managed to shake this headache. So if I get behind the camera, give you a quick walk around, I'll be able to show you what I've penciled out as seating. Hopefully it'll make sense. Okay, so you can see, Bit of a table kind of thing there, with the bar being extended all the way to this edge, curving round to some saloon door style jobbies there. This side we're going to have window seating, these little squares represent chairs. And in this corner, these two lines represent tables, enough seating for 16 people there I'm hoping, with the beginnings of a pallet wall coming up this side here. Table and Small table and chairs there. At the fire escape we we'll put two triangular tables in the corner. Standing room only, no seating, keep the fire escape open. This side built in seating, possible large table or two smaller ones with chairs scattered around the outside. This corner, highlighted by the P, is the old Joanna. And then over here, comfy chairs, radiator covered up somehow, and a table in front of it. Over here, built-in settle of some type, table in the middle, and chairs. So I'm hoping that makes sense. It kind of makes sense to me, but I'm not 100% sure if it is gonna end up looking like that. So, the head is thumping again, it's the weather, the workload and the stress I think all combining uh, to this factor. I just want to get doing some practical work, all this stuff, laying it out, so much to think about, ordering all of the equipment for the seller. It's, uh, yeah, it's rattling my brain a wee bit. Anyway, at least I'm still pulling the camera out and documenting this. When I go home, refresh, reset, come back tomorrow and we'll do it all over again. See you then.